Aggressive driving contributes to thousands of accidents in this country, many of them end with fatalities. And new reports show aggressive driving is on the rise. Seven News reporter Kimberly Brown spent the day looking at those numbers and searching for solutions. It is true, aggressive drivers are all over the road, so it's important to know what to do if one crosses your path. For Daniel O'Shea, road rage is a real experience. Well, I was driving down 85, and I guess I wasn't going fast enough for this guy. And he caught in front of me and, uh, you know, shaking his hands at me and stuff like that. O'Shea decided to ignore the other driver, and that's just what law enforcement encourages people to do. Probably the best thing to do is just ignore them, take the high road, uh, let, them, let them pass, and, and enjoy your day. Aggressive driving can be defined as tailgating, flashing headlights, and even speeding. Aggressive behavior between two drivers is commonly called road rage. Roger Rhodes, a family therapist, says rage on the road comes from a personal place. The bottom line of it is about control and mood. It's, it's not a driving issue, it's a mood issue. An hour before you get off work, check your mood. According to a recent survey by the American Automobile Association, 80% of drivers expressed aggression and anger and even road rage. 51% say that they tailgated on purpose, and 47% said that they yelled at other drivers. It's, it's not amazing to hear stories of road rage. I think that is a common issue in this area. And because of what we thought about, it's grown. At the end of the day, staying safe is the objective. Getting home is the priority. Reporting from Greenville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. According to the National Traffic Safety Administration, aggressive driving increased 500% from 2006 to 2015.